We've formed a life together that has supported each other over the last seven years. You are the person I feel relief from the day to come home to. You have supported me through all my endeavors. The devotion you've shown me has given me an implicit trust in you. One of the first things I noticed about you was the way you carry yourself. You have a grace and elegance to your nature. I remember how I would admire the way you walked up the stairs when I first started coming to the house. Christopher, when I met you 20 years ago, I instantly had a crush, but I never imagined that our past would lead us to this moment. I am forever grateful for the lives we had to live to bring us here. You are my home, my safe harbor, my rest at the end of a long day. Forever with you will not be enough, but I will cherish our lifetime together. Uh, we met when I was 17, I think he was 18. My brother introduced us, he, they were best friends, and I had a huge crush on him immediately, um, but I was just like his friend's little sister, so I knew that, you know, I was just like a dorky little sister. Even he was like, you know, what, what do you think about uh, my sister? I was like, oh man, I'm not, not really supposed to think anything. <laughs> Uh, and that kind of taboo. So he, he, was, he was just kept pushing the issue and so I started thinking about it. And um, uh, yeah, at some point uh, I had to ask for the Wi-Fi and it was her phone number, so that was convenient. And uh, eventually I, I wound up using it. Yeah, as we get closer I get uh, excited as well as nervous, I'm a, I notoriously avoid dancing, and I know I'm gonna have to dance. It's hard to explain what it's like planning a wedding and being engaged, because all you ever really see, like, from the outside is just, like, joy and just love, and you don't really know all the work that's put into it. Um, so I definitely appreciate engagements and, and weddings now a lot more than I did before. I can't imagine you know, ever doing this with anybody else. No. I just want to say that this is amazing to see everybody here. If we haven't been introduced, I'm Deanna's father. Thanks to some technology and some one in a million uh, chances, we got to be in each other's lives. So that's, I feel very fortunate for that. So um, on that note, thank you all for being here. Let's raise our glasses to Chris and Deanna. Many years of happiness. Toast.
Diana, it always has, always will be an honor, an absolute joy to be your mom. You light up the room just by being in it. As a parent, you want, of course, what your child to succeed in life, both personally and professionally. But one of the most satisfying rewards is seeing your child experience through love, happiness, which she has absolutely found with Chris. Thank you, Chris, for loving my daughter. We are all thrilled that you are part of our family. About 20 years ago, I met Chris um, while we were in high school. And um, he ended up, uh, we ended up going on this little adventure, going paintballing, where he uh, ended up hurting his back. And uh, I was like, that was a strange kid. And through the years, uh, I got to see my very dearest friend grow up to become a man uh, and uh, fall in love with my sister, which was, I think, one of the greatest gifts I can say as a friend and as a brother. And uh, I just want to say I love you both very much, and I wish you nothing but the best. Thoughtfulness helps me pay more attention to the world. You have a precious approach to the way you consider the state and perspective of others. You've experienced difficult circumstances in life, and from them, you've woven a beautiful tapestry of moral fabric that supports the weight of your warmth and your heart. You have been a gift to my life and to my health, and I love you more than ever. I promise to be faithful to you in action and in spirit, and I promise to support and cherish you in all that we do. From this moment and all the days of my life, I promise to never take you for granted, to appreciate you as you are, and to be your biggest fan, champion, and cheerleader. Chris, today, I promise myself to you as your wife, partner in life, and your strongest ally. When I look at you, I feel warm peace and understanding. I see my home, my future, my children's father. Your love for me is the answer to my childhood dreams, and I will love you from this moment until my last. Life has challenges, 
from physical to emotional and so forth like that, but now that you're married, you will always have someone in your corner, permanently in your corner. That's, that's to be cherished. We're talking about this special lady. I'm really glad we got together, finally met. And I couldn't be happier. I can't think of a better, a better woman for my son than you. You're the best. Now, you would think being a little sister, I would have been an absolute menace to my older sibling here. And I was. But you might also think Deanna would be the typical, annoyed, older sister. But she wasn't. Deanna is the most compassionate, kind, patient person I have ever known. We've never really argued in our whole lives, and I don't remember a single time she ever was mean to me growing up. our family's lives when my brother brought him home from school. Chris just kind of never left after that. Chris and my brother got up to all kinds of trouble, but in the meantime, my sister was liking what she saw. Anyway, seven years ago, Chris and Deanna gave dating a try, and now here we are on this beautiful day with two beautiful people getting married. I think my sister is at her happiest when she's with you, Chris. You two are a team now, and we'll tackle life's challenges together, but also life's joys. Chris, you've already felt like a part of our family for many years, but I'm proud to now call you my brother. Because you have desired each other in marriage, affirming your acceptance of the responsibility of such a union, you have pledged your love and faith to each other, sealing your vows in the giving and the receiving of rings by the power vested in me by the state of Texas. It is now a privilege to proclaim that you are now husband and wife. May the pure, simple love with which you join hearts and hands today never fail. Christopher, you may kiss your bride.